bad boy. Oh, Mike's over there. Oh, nice job, Cat. Good Cat. Oh, my God. There you go, Ariel! <laughs> I mean, it definitely helps my confidence going into the rest of the weekend, but then again, it's only the first event out of many, so it doesn't really on to the next event. Sure, so, sure. yeah. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Now you're the second fittest woman in the world. Like, do you want to be at the top? Like, do you believe that you can be at the top? <laughs> we can just use a 30. Thank you, but no thank you. Okay, so good session this morning. Um, Again, just did some athletic stuff at the beginning. Uh, and then, yeah, individuals with your uh, power output with the sled pushes, that was good. Um, so, yeah, we'll get out of here and we, we got to swim. You guys are going to do some stuff. And, uh, yeah. um, I'm excited, it, nervous, uh, a little bit stressful, like all of the emotions, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm, of course, excited because I love training. I mean, I love. Um, well, I do like training, <laughs> um, but I just love competing and uh, I'm excited to like showcase everything I've been working on leading up to this point. Um, but yeah, also a little stressed and nervous just because, you know, I, I just, I just want to do well. I want to, um, I guess, prove to myself that I just want to do well for myself. Uh, so I just, I want things to go well. I want to execute well. So I guess it's just a little bit stressful, but I can only do so much. So I think I'm doing everything I can. Um, and then I'll worry about the execution when the time comes. So, yeah. Kettlebells. We're going to do some kettlebell hang clean and jerks. Uh, and we're also going to use the sled um, and the tire as well. So we got a few implements to work with. Um, so the interval styles, we don't have enough. 
for everyone. Uh, so that'll be the, the kind of idea there. People would ask me like, oh, aren't you excited? The games are coming up. And I was like, I just want it to be over with. Like I was just really in a, not like I was in a mood all the time. At that point, you've just done so much. You've done everything you possibly can. And I feel like even though I was like showing to the people around me that I was like miserable and not really wanting to train, I feel like that kind of showed me I've literally done everything I can. Oh, Snorri actually asked me the other day, I had a call with him, so he asked me if I still feel pressure or if I feel more pressure because of how I did this year at the games. Weirdly enough, when I was thinking about it, I feel less pressure than I <laughs> ever have before, which doesn't really make sense, but it's a good thing. No, it does make sense. You want to know why it makes sense? It's because you thought your first year was just a fluke, yes. and you proved to yourself and everyone else that it wasn't. Mm -hmm. And so now, yes. and now there's like, there's not that, oh, she's just a one hit wonder. It's like, no, it doesn't matter what the test is, I'm going to do I'm gonna do good, mm -hmm. right? And so now you have that confidence in yourself that, hey, I'm, yeah, I, I deserve, I belong to be here, and like, I'm capable of doing it. So yeah. I think that's the big thing. Yeah. And again, whether or not you like realize that, it, like subconsciously, that's a huge, a huge player in that. Yeah. But as the youngest competitor to stand on the podium. What does this moment mean for you?